Hello traders, it's Tomek here from Nikos Trading Academy and welcome in my weekly Forex forecast. First of all, I would like to wish you Happy New Year. I hope that you will achieve all your goals and also trading goals in the 2024 and you stay uh, safe and healthy. Before I go to charts, I would like to share my students' uh, results. Uh, this is Pavel from uh, Poland and he um, mainly do scalping on the Renko charts with the combination M6, M3. Uh, he managed to achieve uh, in the sim uh, December 7%, uh, risking 0.5% uh, per trade. Uh, his winning ratio was 57%, uh, so uh, still good, and he took 31 trade. trade so as you can see, that's, uh, it's quite nice results, especially for uh, December uh, second person uh, there are results from uh, November and December and also um, he took around 53 uh, trades and um, the results are 11% again risking only 0.5% uh, this uh, person also only trade on the uh, Renko charts on the three pairs uh, Euro dollar GP US dollar and USDN more or less same winning percentage 57% and uh, as you can also see the results are uh, very nice and the last I would like to share trade which um, I discussed in the forecast and uh, also we took it during our live trading room uh, on the USDN. Um, this was the first 4 hour chart 1 to 3 after daily trendline breakout. Entry was here, stop loss was here, this is target number 1, target number 2. Our stop loss was 65 pips and as you can see I managed to hold this trade until 3rd of the January uh, when price hit uh, my stop loss uh, here and stop loss was uh, managed to 600 pips so our third position reached almost 10 to 1 so it was very very good trade as you can see uh, if we have very strong trend you can uh, see how powerful trend line is how price is reacting so that's why I use it to manage my last position price reach of course daily support zone uh, we didn't get breakouts couple of times uh, so of course we expected for bigger retracement but I will uh, explain everything during my forecast because this is a pair on my watch list um, so if you interested um, to uh, learn more about the strategy or uh, you want to achieve same results or even better results that uh, uh, like my students just go and click the link below uh, you will find uh, details to my one-on-one uh, -on -one mentorship program if you have any questions feel free to contact me to discuss uh, all details uh, and now let's go to um, our pairs and the first pair is Aussie dollar US dollar um, long time no hear about this pair if I can say like that and uh, weekly chart of course like always we start our top down approach um, so what we have right now on this pair um, we will see that we on the weekly chart we have this trend line if we connect all only those two spikes if we look for different angle of trend line with the three touches we'll see that this trend line was broken here um, price stopped around this uh, area of support so we see that it didn't continue to the last spike right now seems that we have this EMA cross uh, crossover momentum is also pointing up um, but currently price reached also strong resistance zone on the weekly chart if this is broken then we can really expect for price maybe to follow and continue to this trend line together with this area of the resistance um, so right now if I just delete this we see that momentum is uh, to go long together with the EMA crossover and this will be interesting if this is only false breakout and price will go again down through it as that like we had here or this uh, momentum will stay and we'll get this continuation to this level in this level is broken then of course we can uh, look for a possible next levels uh, daily chart um, the momentum is here it's visible we have this nice daily trend line 
and as you can also see we have daily long quantity tree in making so what can happen price might react and try to go up again where to this area of the resistance if this is broken we can go to the next one if not uh, price can still you know play around here and maybe we'll get breakout of that continuation or breakout of this daily trend with the 36 EMA and then maybe price will drop down again um, we will see right now we have this 36 ema next area of the support on the daily chart for me is down here but right now it's still pointing up quite strongly so um, my perspective is here to look for possible buy scenarios whenever price breaks this trend line so ideally uh, of course we would like to see that price is playing around here and then is doing this okay whenever this happens together with the 36 ema you can look for buys if this scenario won't happen um but price for example will break this here you can easily look for the lower time frame entries to look for this target okay but if we get um, a better risk reward and we get a breakout here for our chart also is okay uh to trade and of course whenever price breaks this short scenarios and this um, support zone uh next pair is euro dollar euro dollar still on the weekly chart is uh, um I, difficult to say still yes uh, like we discussed last uh, last year that um, or we will get like a lower high and price will drop and continue uh with this possible um lower low with the ema crossover however you see that now price uh, emas are pointing up uh, or we'll get continuation to the next resistance and then we will see what price will do or breakout or bounces we will see right now it's still on the weekly chart we still have uh, those uh, white candles however right now uh, we see this small weakness um, so where are our levels on the euro dollar we have the resistance on the previous top and we also have support on the previous bottom and on the weekly chart is more than enough for us on the daily chart uh, our trend is still strong uh, because we have this trend line uh, and uh, we can see that price is still making those long one to trees uh, so as long as the 36 and the trend line are holding we can look for possible continuations um, the next level of the daily chart is of course our previous top which is around this zone this is also a nice resistance uh, there is also another line another trend line here so in case if price breaks this area of the trend line maybe we'll get moved to the to this zone but if this happens there is also support so you can see that this level is equal so if you don't want to over complicate just leave this support and this is what we would like to get or bounces continuations target that in case of the breakout of this or short scenarios after breakout and target this support of course day traders can still trade in this zone so if you get moved to this price won't break you can look for short scenarios target the trend line etc yes and then long and the resistance uh, if we look for for our chart time frame um, it will be similar to all, uh, Aussie dollar US dollar um, we have this trend line which was broken but still prices below the 36 EMA uh, so uh, we don't have even clean trend line here so in this case I would go to lower time frames and simply wait for possible breakout of the, uh, at least this resistance as uh, from the lower time frames and whenever price you know gain momentum here i would look for buy scenarios target this whenever price breaks this new lower lows look for short opportunities okay so this is euro dollar gp aussie uh, weekly time frame uh, price broke 36 cma but stopped on this area of the support right now uh, as you can see there is also uh, lowest the lowest point is down here so there is still a room um, but price reached this support it looks like a very big long weekly one two three uh, on the um, on this pair so maybe we'll get another up move or just price will uh, continue to go up yes continue will make lower high and then maybe will drop um, definitely price reached strong support and as you can see uh, the reaction is happening right now um, next area of the resistance of the weekly chart of course is up here but in between we also we we also find something but for me this will be more like a, a daily level so if i go to daily chart uh, right now we have 
like a 50 50 scenario because we have this daily trend line as you can see um, and price is making also short one to three for us here the next area of the resistance is up here so whenever price breaks this trend line this trend line we can expect continuation to this zone and then all price will react or break and continue to the next level of uh, this we we will see of course after re uh, reaction uh, of this we can still have maybe you know reaction retest continuation but if we have continuation this is your goal after breakout of that we have next level which is here uh, of course whenever price breaks support zone it's very simple and to the point we want to sell but like I mentioned price is making right now daily short one two three so if this trend I holds we can look for short scenarios on the lower time frames to target this support zone so if we go to uh, lower time frames for our chart what we will see the momentum is here uh, trend line is uh, a little bit higher so no, price might still continue or this will be enough uh, for price we will see uh, so if you want to wait for clean con clean confirmation yes no this is the best line which we have so basically we don't even need this because there are not so many touches so we can you know it's difficult to draw if we have such issues then we use the 36 EMA um, so or we wait for clean confirmation of breakout yes here or if the 36 continue price will play around and then breaks the 36 you look for short scenarios and you target this support zone so those those are the clean situations yes um, for price but because there is momentum you can also do day trading here how you can do it you, you just wait for the four hour chart retracement if price creates long one to three you can look for buy scenarios target preview stop with the trend line okay uh, so this is option number one and if we look for uh, let's check one hour chart the one hour chart is not giving us nice situation here however uh, also here we have aggressive opportunity if price breaks trend line with the 36 EMA so ideally we want to see that price is you know below yes below of those lows here yeah? so whenever price is here we can look for short scenarios and target for our chart 36 EMA so this is just for the day trading and scalping because we can still have around 70 80 pips yes uh, so this is uh, so those are our chances opportunities here on the GBP uh, Aussie uh, GBP US dollar uh, same story uh, like euro dollar uh, we still I still at least don't know if this is just the beginning of the lower high and price will make that or we will get continuation that this was just the false breakout and price will continue to the next area of the to the previous area of the resistance um, so let's look for those levels this is our resistance zone this is our support zone now price is pointing up but momentum a little bit stopped right now and it's very visible on the day daily chart okay we see that price is struggling right now this is the last area of the resistance as we can see here and here and now we are in the range uh, we have this daily trend line here and our next area of the support for this pair will be uh, down here and the next one will be lower here so um, ideally we want to look for breakout of this then continuation of the momentum and uh, target that or breakout of this trend line then short scenarios and we have next levels okay uh, <coughs> so uh, this is if you want to wait for confirmation let's see if we have something for the day trading and basically um, price is still pointing up we see that we have white candles here so we have to even go to lower time frames now seems that you know we had the spike after NFP price went up now what we would like to do is to wait for possible retracement and if price retraced to a 36 CMA maybe to 12 if you see that price is again bouncing it's trying to go up then you can look for intraday trading scalping trades uh, to go to go long and even try to target this uh, resistance zone so this is our opportunity here this might be quite good target around 100 pips USD cat uh, on the weekly chart uh, now we are in the range yes 
here price uh, gain momentum right now went down haven't reached the bottoms yet right now just stopped and there is reaction but for me it's uh, right now obvious range on this pair if we go to daily chart uh, we see that the momentum um, is there so what we can do uh, here uh, on the daily chart we have this daily trend line together with the 36 so all we wait for the retracement to this zone to the 36 and then if we get this we look for short scenarios and we try to target previous bottoms with the lowest point this um, or price of course uh, will break and if breaks does we can look for buy scenarios and we aim this uh, level of the resistance which is of course the highest point of our range um, this momentum is still quite strong so really I for now pay attention for some retracements and then short scenarios still um, of course market can do whatever it wants but we will see uh, so if uh, I would like to go long uh, I need to see really that price is you know breaking 36 uh, with the EMA crossovers and then we can look for possible short uh, scenarios so not even on the four hour chart because this chart is not clear if we get this bigger retracement to this zone together with the 36 EMA then four hour chart might be good idea to trade but if the retracement won't happen um, to this zone but we will see the price is going down from this this point then it's better to switch to one hour chart um, and <laughs> look for possible scenarios there um, at least we need to wait for breakout of this uh, bottom and whenever price breaks that you look for the setups try to target those previous lows and then the lowest point of this range and the last is USDN. Uh, no USDN. This was our trade. Very nice uh, and uh, good-looking price. Of course, went down right now. Stopped uh, as we set around the support zone because um, this was our area of the support. So it's still making for us possible a weekly long one to three. Let me just delete this this support. It's still. Um, can make this and another continuation where to the to the previous resistance okay uh, it's still uh, strong um, of course we had this retracement which was big yes 1000 pip but uh, of course price haven't retraced for a long time uh, so this is the resistance and this is our trend line and it's as you can see if I draw this or even if it's possible see so the price reach very strong and powerful nice trend line here uh, we have one two three four five touches so price is reacting so that's why we can have reaction if this happens even to the resistance zone uh, if this uh, if we get com um, momentum from the weekly chart uh, <clears throat> but it's still pointing down on the daily uh, our daily trend line was broken yes but this trend line was like a volatility line so we can still use the 36 CMA so as long as the 36 is holding for me it's still it's still okay to sell it so because I would treat this right now as a daily short one to three and if price stays play around and start to push down we can definitely look for short scenarios uh, but our goal is of course area of the support with this trend line okay then we will see because maybe price will uh, simply uh, play around here yes we'll do this then maybe we'll be able to draw some nice trend line and then we'll look for a breakout here or breakout here for the for clean situation we will see no right now the retracement happened to the 36 was obvious uh, on the four hour chart we have this trend line here so whenever this trend line is broken uh, I would like to sell it okay uh, those long scenarios now we have this 36 CMA here so if you really if we really see that price is still continue then of course you look for buy scenarios because momentum can last uh, but now maybe we will get this possibility okay so if price retrace the 36 uh, EMA on the four hour chart will not break uh, this trend line but starts to bounce we can look for day trading opportunities long scenarios target previous top so the previous top is our goal in the case of breakout we know okay price can continue if not if if price will you know uh, stays here for example 
then of course we can look for short scenarios here again target this if price reach this long scenarios target that and so on so maybe you will get this uh, wedge here and then price decide to go up or down we will see now day, day trading opportunities retracement possible long scenarios and if we go to um, one hour chart uh, one hour chart I wouldn't trade this right now I would really want to see if price has enough uh, strength to to go up or 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 maybe will uh, this retracement will be over and will uh, continue to go down okay guys so I hope you enjoy my first forecast I pick up all major pairs because uh, still most of the pairs are not in the good shape <laughs> uh, but I hope in this week or maybe another week we'll get uh, better momentum of course um, next week i will prepare my renko forecast and again if you're in, in interested in the mentorship uh, program just uh, click the link below uh, in the description uh, you will you can find their all details i developed this program to uh, help you to achieve your trading goals so i think this is a good time to start uh, this if you want to if you want to uh, achieve your uh, trading goals in 2024 uh, so just click the link below and uh, contact me if you have any um, questions. Wish you again Happy New Year and we hear soon. Bye.